Is this DJ Khaled? Okay, this is what I've been waiting for. Because I got a lot of... Okay, so there's two guys that we can watch. I kind of want to watch Heavy... Well, I don't know. Should I watch... Should we do Heavy Spoiler? Or should I do Screen Crush? Screen Crush like 29... F Nature's Recipe type knows shit. a dog's best life is measured in wags. That's why every recipe is not, made not my boy shaking his ass like in the, in the, in sweet the potato and pumpkin. Because there is a lot of things I want to say, bro. Best life every day with nature's recipe. There is a lot of things I want to yeah. say. Oh I'm my Deadpool's roommate. Oh my Lying god, uh, I can't. Because today, a new age of superheroes begins. Hey, welcome back Screen Crush, I'm Ryan Airy. Things just got really intense in the ending of The Boys Season mm, 4. Yep. Newman is dead, the yep. country is under martial law, and Homelander is in charge. Almost all of the boys are captured, and Butcher goes rogue, and he's about to start a soup genocide with his imaginary friend. And his tent- Soup genocide is crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. This was crazy. Pickles. Season five is going to be wild. And before we get rolling, I just want to say- Season five is going to be wild. Great American consumerism by shopping- When we get it, when we get it in three years. Where you can get shirts like this Diabolic or Nirvana parody, the amazing Butchie parody of the Punisher's first Crazy, appearance, craziest scene. And Soldier Boy calling Hitler a disappointment. I don't even know about the that. the best way to directly support our channel They said 2026. So guys, there is so much to oh explain Lord, about this man. Ending, like Butcher's powers and Sage's plan and what the heck is phase two. Buckle up. I ain't gonna lie, Sage was a very like interesting character. Weird, freaky. I kind of liked her character though. I'm not gonna lie, I liked her character for for the most part, cause I really feel like I really feel like she could have died at any time. You fuck with Sage being at it? Yeah, I fuck with. Now look, okay. Before we start though, I have heard or seen. You know, some people for some reason feeling some type of way about Sage. Not gonna say it's because she's black, but you know, I've seen it. <laughs> and there will be no other reason why people would have a problem with her other than that. But you know, some people just gotta be weird, I guess. Some people just gotta be weird, I guess. You also. You also closed your eyes when she got a lobotomy, though. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. The lobotomy scene was kind of crazy. But it makes sense, though. Because I was thinking, okay, technically... So, I, so she obviously could die, right? But, like, if anything... But uh, I, I'm guessing that anything that happens to her brain, she can't get killed by her brain. Is what I'm guessing, right? Like, because if her brain gets damaged, she just, she, gets, she just gets stupid, I guess. And then... She has a recovery time, I'm assuming. I don't know. I thought that was kind of cool. Because I was like, to be fair, being the world's smartest person ain't really a superhero. So, or like, not a superhero, but not really like, like that's not even, that, that doesn't, that, why is that a power? You know what I mean? Like, being the world's smartest person is, is, a, is a power doesn't make any sense to me. But then I'm like, okay, well, Apparently, I guess her brain just keeps on regenerating or like recovering, like if she like if it gets damaged. So it's like, in theory, I guess I guess the more time you damage her brain, the more smarter she gets. I guess, but she's already the world's smartest human. So it's like, how much more smarter can she get? Her brain just regenerates. Yeah, that's why I'm like, yeah, I'm just like, but if she lobotomizes herself, it's just like, why does she need to lobotomize herself to like you know? To feel human, I guess is that is that I don't know the I don't know the reason why she does that. Is it just for her to feel human, so she could get freaky? But why the fuck she gotta lobotomize herself just to get a little freaky? That don't make no sense to me. Like you're telling me that you're so smart that your coochie closes when a nigga gets like you know what I mean? Gets to feel more human. I guess. I I I mean I guess I don't I don't know. I feel like if you're the world's smartest person. You know a lot of things, so sex would be the one of the things that you know a lot of. So it's like in, in theory, she would be she would technically be the best. Like you know what I'm saying? Thai shit. Ignorance is bliss, I guess. I guess, man. 
I guess I ain't gonna lie to you. To be fair though, she is bad though. You know, respectfully, obviously, she's a beautiful black woman. You know what I mean? I forgot what other show she was on. She was on another show that I I seen a while, uh, like a long time ago. I liked her in that show too. I for, what show was she on? Maybe she knows that that much about the world that she just doesn't feel feel in the mood. I mean, I guess. I guess. I don't know. Maybe she's just like, I want to go stupid, I guess. She's so smart. She can't even she can't even like analyze an orgasm, probably. Who knows? <laughs> Imagine you're just so smart, like you can't even nut. That's crazy. For face two. There's also what Homelander's America is going to look like now that a all message the from Homelander the military are under his control. And of course, we nah, will this this nigga, this nigga right now here, all the soups and the military are this man right here is crazy. This man's power is to grow his penis like, bro. Imagine you getting they really had they really had MM get slapped by a man that his only power is to grow his penis. I'm just, you got under it, Under his control. And of course, we will explain the return of Soldier Boy and what all of this means for season five. Milk got and smacked why by beat. show is ending. I am declaring martial law and deputizing hundreds Hell of nah. heroes nationwide. So let's talk about what happens in the ending before we go on to talk about also, Butcher, what's going to happen. I'm sorry, because you know we're going to be positive a lot. How the fuck? I get that she's the world's smartest person, but like you're telling me she was able to plan out. You're telling me she was able to plan out so far into the future like that to be like to to guesstimate that all this was going to happen exactly this way there's no way bro it's different being the world's smartest person versus being the world's most calculated person how does she how she so calculate that to that point where she 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 guesstimate all this was going to happen that don't, i just don't buy that bro season five so throughout the past few weeks, we were sure that the I don't buy that, would end bro. with Homelander taking over the country by force and inciting a soup insurrection. But the control basically falls she probably wrote Homelander's different uh, down different president. possibility in the last possible episode, outcomes. Singer was certified as the president with Newman that okay, you know what? I can get that because he really doesn't have nothing else to do. Newman before she pops Damn, his recipes, head. Newman, then, bro. Butcher kills her, and Sage leaks the video showing Singer talking about the assassination. If you killed Newman like I ordered. We wouldn't be stuck for that was too well timed bro yeah she she ate on that one stories underground playing pocket pool idiot yeah idiot yeah so what's going on with sage what does she want well we're going to talk about sage and her motivation a little bit later so singer and the boys are then framed for newman's death and singer is taken into custody without a vp the next person in line is the speaker of the house who happens to be calhoun who is loyal to homelander Damn. calhoun declares martial law what's up Cardi? homelander the supreme commander of the united states a message from homelander and as my first act with this new authority i will create a grand army of the republic Keep in mind, martial law pretty much stops democracy, giving the military full control. And Damn. most civil rights are put on hold. The country will slide into fascism all in the name of protection. So Homelander has full authority over the military. This thing is too good at playing, playing Homelander, bro. And more importantly, all soups are deputized and they all answer to Homelander. Also, this is why I told niggas to watch Gen V because it was going to be important. Gen V is going to be important in the future. Y'all niggas need to watch Gen V. You wouldn't know who these f characters were if you watched Gen V. That's all I'm this saying. This means that Homelander has an army of soups at his disposal. So finally, Homelander can really do whatever the fuck he wants. Sage has brilliantly manipulated the media. Nah, she manipulated crazy. To Homelander and to paint Starlight and the boys as dangerous extremists. Oh my she God. The media to you fell asleep watching afraid. episode one of Gen V. Okay, that, that, that's really disrespectful. If they're not Gen V is not boring. Gen V is fucking fire. Drive up that's disrespectful. Ratings. It's really sad that you don't even know what news you can trust. But that's why it's good to subscribe to a service like Ground oh News. Oh my or God. Hey man, W. I use Ground News that shows you news be supporting Homelander's tantrums. and you know, Too many ideas, so... I went another way. And apparently, she even took into account Homelander's tantrums and, you know, him being him. And by framing the boys for Newman's assassination, she turned her into a martyr, creating the false narrative that the deep state starlighters infiltrated the government to destroy America. You'll try it and, and watch it, unite though, the since, right it's, since he's survived since 2026. And now Homelander will have the righteous cause to arrest anyone who disagrees with his regime because they are traitors or You need terrorists. to, bro. And then he can put them it's all probably going to really there's going to be more connections to it in probably in season five so wait, why is sage helping homelander yeah that well, is a question like for her it's just one giant chess game like she says here why would you do this i don't believe that see if i could i don't believe that 
My I don't believe that. Lucy, and I have to figure out who I am. I don't believe that. She, I don't believe that she's just doing this as a chess game. This was. There's no way she's that bored that she just like decided to cause chaos for the world, and she's just like, I just wanted to see if I could do it. Nah, that's that. No, there's no way. So much fun. Sage is the smartest person in the world. The key to understanding Sage is her speech to Newman in episode six. I that's what I'm saying. She has to have something to gain reverse here. Reverse global warming, but what's the point? Humans are animals. When she was a little girl, her grandmother died from cancer, and Sage found the cure, but that's nobody true. took her seriously. As a black woman, she experienced discrimination and racism and her- Okay, but to be fair though, if you're a doctor and this little girl come out of nowhere talking about she could cure cancer, niggas ain't gonna believe you at first. Let's be real. Come on, bro. You can say that you have it, but it's like, bro, it's not like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you a little ass girl. Like, nobody gonna believe you have, you have the cure of cancer. You can't be mad at niggas being like- Go play somewhere, honey. Go ahead and sit down somewhere. Like, you can't blame nobody for that, bro. Like, that's just... It is what it is, Taishi. You know what I'm saying? Like, sucks that your grandma got hoed, but it's like, you know, like... Like, you're not gonna believe no little girl. I'm sorry! If I... Okay, if I was, like, 10 years old, right, and I came up with, like, uh, a plan to, to end world hunger, and I go up to a politician and be like, hey, would you write the check out this plan? I know how to end world hunger. And he's just going to look at me like, all right, little son, go ahead and sit down. Like, I'm not like, yeah, I'm going to be mad, but I'm going to be like, that's under like growing up. I'll be like, that's understandable. Like, obviously, they're not going to take me serious. You know, you know what I'm saying? Even if I do have the answer, I, they're not going to take me serious, bro. Unless I record it and I make the I make the serum my own self and then I, pr I, I put it out and, and do that shit. Never mind. I'll take that back. Genius was YouTube does exist. Was belittled. She is sick of being the little girl who no one listens to. Mm. But now, now even Homelander must listen to her because she just made him king. That's and true. Now it's time for the next. She's stage. a true boss. Buckle up for face two. So what's phase two? Well, it's still possible that Sage's end game is to bring down Homelander and the Seven, especially now that he respects and trusts her. Homelander no, that would be a crazy twist. Y'all know what I noticed though? Homelander has. Every time Homelander gets gets power, though, there's always a woman that's backing him up. I don't, I, I really don't think that he's like, I don't think he likes really being in power. For real. Unless there's, there's somebody there. Maybe it's because he needs a, he doesn't, he never had a mother figure. Maybe because he never had a mother figure or like a female figure in, in his life. Like, maybe that's why he's, like, always has, like, some soft spot for, like, any woman that shows him, like, the light type shit. And he's willing to be, like, you know? That's crazy. Because really, think about it. Every, se every season, uh, Old Girl, the original president, Stormfront, uh, what you call it? I forgot her name from season three. Uh, and then this season, which was both, uh, uh, what you call it? Her and uh the damn other girl, the damn uh patriot, <laughs> the the one that was drinking uh that was taking antibiotics to, to in increase her breast milk uh production. Like, yeah, the redhead. Like he had two. Don't forget, in the first episode, Sage pretty much told Homelander that she's gonna make him Caesar. Like Caesar. Like Caesar. But Caesar's reign as a tyrant was very short, and he was betrayed by Brutus, who was like a son to him. But I don't think Sage has I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, that redhead was fired. She, she was fine, though. I ain't gonna lie. Control. She wants to use her brilliance. Why she why she quicken her lips like that? In the direction that she thinks is best. And phase two might be about controlling all soups and governments to create her new world order. But Homelander doesn't like to be overshadowed. So I did as thought that she wanted that she liked Homelander, though. I'm not gonna lie. Giant tantrum. Am I wrong for saying that? Explain how Homelander will be Am I wrong for assuming that? Because like Deadass, I feel like I don't know if it's just that's how her face is when she makes expressions like on her face or whatever but i dead ass thought that she like had a thing for homelander like i thought she wanted to get you know t-boned by homelander but i guess not she let the deep hit so i don't know 
Santos is a true I don't know what kind of Sanders she got. Of America. You did at first, yeah. That's what I was like. With the boys like, why? Like, do you do you find this do you find this man attractive? What happens to the boys? <laughs> like, what's the entire up? team goes on the run, minus Butcher, of course. But then they're all captured by a joint task force of soups and special forces. How they know where they were going Andy though? Taken down by Cindy. She's the scary telekinetic soup from season two, and I am so happy she's back. Cindy is about to kill Annie, but she yeah, I forgot about that. And flies away just before Cindy blows her up. MM is arrested by Love Sausage, and this is the third Love time Sausage MM got some of that nasty Love Sausage. You about to get familiar with these hands if you don't get this. Wait, man. wait! I forgot about the. Fr oh, so he has multiple encounters with this man. Love Sausage is a nasty name, bro. Why is his dick so long? Goddamn face. Kimiko and Frenchie are captured by Kate and Sam, the two bad soups from Gen V. Kate is a powerful telepath, yep. and Sam is super strong and invulnerable. And in a heartbreaking moment, Kimiko screams Damn. her first words. No! I'm not gonna... No, this shit right here had me... I was dead. I'm like, first... Because first thing first, I thought that they was gonna kill Frenchie. I thought she was gonna make make him like walk off of a, like a bridge or some shit and like just drown or die i was like oh when kimmy just started screaming oh her first words yeah that's what i'm saying her first words we ever hear on her and that's what it is walk the plank type beat <laughs> no nah, i dead ass thought she was gonna be like go over there boy like go ahead and go ahead and drop down for me like that nah bro that shit that shit hit bro i ain't gonna lie so soups are working with government forces to run some shady she really said no! so the captured boys will probably be taken to some top secret facility or to one of these internment camps and i'm pretty sure that homelander will want to make a big show of their hey, capture yo. but the inclusion of sam and kate in the finale might be a hint to a crossover of the boys with gen v considering the two-year gap in production between the boys seasons we will get the second season of gen v sometime next year with the boys season oh so gen v season two okay so yeah that's gonna make more sense that's gonna make more sense so yeah niggas definitely gonna have to watch gen v i told niggas bro y'all don't Y'all don't niggas want to listen, bro. Five in 2026. The show's creators unfortunately had to restructure the second season of Gen V following the tragic death. Oh yeah, of rest in peace. The first season ends with Homelander taking down the Godolkin students that stopped Kate and Sam from rampaging. Them. Also, she bad as hell too. I ain't gonna lie to you. And she from Texas. She from my crib. Tight shit. Fun fact. She actually went. She act never mind, I'm not gonna do that because that might dox me, never mind. In the school. Well, that might dox me. That might dox something crazy. Facility with no doors, and that is the same place that I think the boys are going to end up. They will meet Marie Moreau and her friends, and together they will escape. The virus from Gen V season one. Oh my God! Very important in season four. So season two will probably lead into the. She boys went to Jesus five, High School. With the good young soups joining no. the boys in the fight. But she did go. And his evil she, government. Somebody that I know actually, you know, what I'm saying How like. How much should good car insurance cost you a month? $80, Somebody that I know $20. is related to her. Nope. In a, in a, in a way. Homelander will have to deal with the wild card, a souped up butcher. Yeah, okay, so what's going on with butcher person? Why has he got tentacles? All right, so butcher took a lot of V24 in season yep. three, and it granted him powers, but it also gave him brain cancer. Yep. A few months before season four, butcher took some compound V, and that mutated the tumor into oh. super cancer. The cancer evolved. Wait, what? Hold on. Okay. Wait, hold on. And it granted him powers. To All right, so Butcher took a lot of V24 in season three, and it granted. Wait, what's. Okay, so what. Wait. What was V24? Hold on. Let's do our science real quick. Oh, Tent V. Tent V. Tent V. This is Tent, tent V. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, so he took Tent V and Compound V together i thought he just took the same sh i thought that was the same shit i didn't know that was different shit i didn't know that was i didn't i didn't know that was the i didn't know that was different shit so he took i forgot he did take temp v because him and huey took temp v but i thought that was compound v so that's why i got confused yeah that's what i'm saying i thought he took i thought they were taking the same shit i didn't know that so he took compound v and temp v and then he got a mutation from that? Ain't that... But ain't compound... Ain't Tent V just a 
like a smaller dosage of compound V? Hold on. Let's do our research real quick. Let's do our research real quick. Let's do our research real quick. V24, also known as Tent V, is a modified version of Compound V that was created by Vi Inter International as a result of an unethical experiment uh, that was conducted by the Sage Group uh, Grove Center. Oh, okay. 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 So it's not even like. So it's like, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. That's crazy. It did him powers, but it also gave him brain cancer. A few months before season four, Butcher took some compound V and that mutated the tumor into super cancer. The cancer evolved into a separate organism oh my God. inside his body. And when this entity was in control, it burst these tentacles from Butcher's chest. And this might make Butcher one of the most powerful soups. I mean, he ripped Newman apart. You are tearing me apart, We still talk about the boys. We just started talking about the boys. took a bullet to the head and then Homelander's lasers right in her face and she was just fine. Yeah. And this tentacle monster manifests itself as Joe Kessler, Butcher's old war buddy who died years ago. That yeah, this shit threw me off because I'm like, how the fuck... Like, I thought he dead ass was like real, and then when he had that conversation with uh, what you call it's mom. Okay, but my thing is though, so I'm guessing she's like the good side and he's the bad side. So he's he was already fully compromised by episode seven, right? He was already compromised by se episode seven. Cause now I think about it, like this was already premeditated by that per by that point. You're gonna go finish WW. Adios, sir. I'm just cause I'm now I'm thinking about like, damn, wait. So he was good technically when he was listening to the old girl, but then once he took over, they I guess and that's compound V and the tent V talking to him, and then I guess the comp the 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 cancer just took over and physically manifest itself, I guess? I don't know. I still don't get it, bruh. Instead, Butcher also sees Becca. So Kessler and Becca are a manifestation of his fragile mental state, representing Butcher's war with himself. Over the course of the show, Butcher changed and became a much better person thanks to the boys, mm. Ryan and Becca. But to be Ryan. Down, he's still that same angry and vicious man who will use anyone to All get right, what mate. he wants, to kill Homelander and every other soup, even if he needs to burn down the planet to finish his mission. So while Becca represents his moral compass and better nature, his fractured mind and the So is this cancer just gone? ...to embody this inner monster. And when Kessler takes control, he controls these tentacles that can cut soups to ribbons. How is it you think you ripped his Ezekiel into fun sized little chunks. I'm the one that gave you the juice that you. So, is this cancer gone or what? So, like, what happens? So, what happens if they, if that little worm shit, like, gets deleted out of his body? Does he die too? But without Kessler, Butcher has no powers and he's even dying from cancer. However, Kessler this is fucked. unable to fully control Butcher whenever he wants. After Ryan kills Grace, Butcher Damn. realizes that the only way forward is Kessler's way. You're still confused on the Ryan cancer. Yeah, that's what I'm hope against Homelander. Hopefully now, he Butcher well he must use the monster inside figuratively my and bad. literally to kill Homelander himself. So I'm assuming okay, so this is my assumption. I don't know if he's gonna explain it. Let me play a little bit more. So Butcher kills Newman and then he takes the virus that Frenchie cooked up. So wait, Kessler is controlling Butcher now? Well the ending might answer this. We see Butcher driving a car and Kessler is in the back seat. A reminder that he's always there, ready to take over. And the fact that Butcher is driving the car signifies that he is in full control of what he's doing and he is ready to use the virus to kill Homelander and every other soup on the planet. Remember, this virus is highly contagious and it could kill every soup in the world. Earlier this season, Butcher didn't want to be responsible for a soup genocide and he only wanted to kill Homelander. You think I want that much blood on me hands? Yeah, you do. You want to f***ing swim in it. But after that ending, he might be ready to reduce the suit population to zero. What's a little genocide between? Oh, so he had to crash out. Okay, so I'm okay. So I'm guessing the cancer is not really cancer. This was just more of the 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 terminology, I guess. So I guess he never really had cancer. So I'm assuming the compound V tent V worm thingy that's inside him is basically like like he. So like I f I'm guessing Butcher is a host. And I'm guessing the this comp this 
monster thing is basically feeding off of him like obviously like a symbiotic relationship so i guess he's like doing something like where he's gonna like i guess zap him dry so i feel like i think the thing is that i think he's probably gonna take over take over him regardless so i guess he's either just gonna like either just either like have him like naturally do it or just wait till or cause like problems for butcher to die to take over his body is what i'm assuming that's what i'm assuming that's 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 what i'm assuming that's that's my theory little thing and so while season five will very much be about stopping homelander the boys will also need to stop butcher from i don't know if that makes any genocide. more sense now, than this already did but to explain about butcher soup cancer we've already seen a because i'm assuming i'm assuming if and this happens i'm assuming like diabolical. if he leaves his body that butcher will die a cancer patient who is injected with v i Just remember like that butcher, her cancer mutates and gives her tentacle powers and later the super cancer actually bursts out of her body and becomes a separate entity so this could happen in season five if Butcher starts fighting Kessler for control of. Oh, I I saw this. I remember this. I thought this was a canon though. If that's the case, yeah, I can see that happening. I can see that happening. I could actually see that happening, and like that actually be the death of Butcher. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. That'd be kind of fire. Body. With the boy's help, Butcher could re- That'd be kind of fire. Then Kessler, meaning because I wanted Butcher to die. Would burst. I thought he was gonna. I thought he was gonna die this series or this season. And what's important is that in Diabolical, Sun He gained abilities even after being separated from her super cancer, and this again could happen in season five. For all we know, the show will end with Butcher with powers sacrificing himself in a last stand. Mm, that'd and be fire. Less, Butcher is too far gone, and then the boys would need to kill him too. That'd be fire. Might have to be the one to beat Butcher. That'd be fire last v24 vial he was going to take v24 when the boys fought soldier boy in season three but he didn't and he's probably keeping it for a rainy day although there's no mention of it at all in this season and i really hope that huey won't just kind of forget about the v24 well danny kind of forgot about the iron fleet but that v24 might come in handy if the boys have to fight butcher and his tentacles like for example huey realizing that the only way to stop butcher is to kill him so he takes v24 wait hold on hours back and teleports wait 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 wait, wait, wait. body to kill him from the inside kind of I just noticed. Wait. Wait, hold on. I just noticed something. Cause I forgot Huey took the tent V and he had like he could face through objects and shit. Just like his dad. Is that a coincidence? Cause I just noticed that. Like I remember like he it just showed that okay, so it just showed him like phasing through like objects and like shit like that but that's the same thing that happened with his dad like his dad could phase through walls and shit so wait so like are you t i'm assuming I, I don't know if this is correct or not but i'm assuming that like maybe a person's genetic determines your powers if you take v i was just about to say that i'm glad that you said that so i'm assuming that there's like genetical like or like innate powers like a set of powers because i guess that would make sense because if you watch okay so yeah that makes sense because now that i think about it jim v old dude that died his dad had the sim had similar powers recipes homie i forgot his name but the guy that the the light skin dude that they showed he had like like kinetic like like shit like that so and his dad did too yeah same thing with uh with ryan ryan has homelander abilities but my thing is though like the difference between them though is like they're natural that's natural like actually no i, I guess that's not natural because i forgot is homelander like the, like calm like there, there's no such thing hold on now i'm confusing myself because he was experimented on every person that has con like everybody everybody that has took compound v there's no natural like abilities. Damn. So it is genetic then, I guess. But how would that make Okay, but my thing is though like that doesn't make sense though cuz Huey took the power first. And they never took compound V. So like how the hell does everybody in the world just have set like abilities that shared or some shit like that? Cuz if that's the case, that sucks. 
That sucks. So that means like if your dad has a sorry ass power or your mom has a sorry ass power in your genetics and you take compound V and you just have a sorry ability, then you're just fucked. Like, <laughs> wait, so that means does love sausage dad have daddy sausage? And also, does that, does his mom have like a long sausage too? What if he has a daughter that has compound V? Will she have a sausage as well? That must be a f weird family reunion. <laughs> like Neo. Do you like That's going to be a weird family reunion. Meet the sausages. And money driving to the post office. <laughs> Meet the sausages. <laughs> Sausage party. Like yeah, like Ant-Man going in Thanos' butt. It is a colonoscopy. But there is another meet this meet 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 the sausage killed. sausage there party. Is someone who can put the V24 to better use. Someone who has already had powers. Somebody who can actually even beat up Homelander. Her Queen Maeve. Huh? We believe that in season five, Annie will seek out Maeve and form a good version of the Seven, along with A Train, Kimiko, and some of the soups from Gen V. And good soups teaming up against Homelander and his regime is really. Didn't Maeve die though? Am I tripping? Didn't Maeve die? Did she? I'm pretty sure she did, right? When she fought against Homelander. Didn't she like sacrifice herself? Didn't she die or some shit? I could be misremembering. Look, it's been a while since I've seen season uh, three, bro. It's been a while since I've seen it, bro. So I don't, I don't really remember all that happened. For the show's ending. Obviously, it'll be awesome to see good soups fight bad soups, like the airport battle from Captain America. Or was Civil it the War. fight with Soldier Boy? Yeah, I remember. Like, she, like, she was fighting. She, she sacrificed herself when Soldier Boy blew himself up. That is filled with corporate manufactured super when he self blew like himself up. Feeling like a true hero for the first time after seeing the reaction from that kid when he saves M.M. And this culminates with him saving Annie and Butcher and finally rebelling against Homelander by fighting the deep. Hey, and WA train. And throughout the season, Annie at the end, it looked like she died, but after then Starlight and Huey Starlight went mantle, to, the, to Annie visit her really know who after. She is. Oh, and this crisis is being I forgot by her being unable to use her powers like Peter Parker. Yeah, this was also weird, too. She has to face her identity crisis literally after the shapeshifter soup steals her identity. Nah, this was. <laughs> This was wild, bruh. Okay, real talk. Real talk, man. Real talk. If you have a significant other 20 times in 10 days, hear me out, nigga. Niggas was horny. If you have a significant other that gets shape shifted and cloned to the exact T. You know what I'm saying? Can you blame Huey for like, you know? He didn't know. He didn't know. That's what I was like. I was kind of a little weirded out about her being mad because I'm like, the nigga didn't even know. Like she was literally got it down to the T. I can't blame him at the beginning. That's what I'm saying. Well, to be fair, he did kind of hold himself, though, because he was like, she did do things that I, I noticed that you never did. I'm like, well, Hugh, you just hold yourself because that means you did know. That means you did know. That means you did know. <laughs> like, like the car key shit. Like, yeah, that means you did know, sir. Like, so you still and you still fucked her. That's the crazy part. So, no, you kind of actually you're kind of actually a bitch for that. I ain't gonna lie. But during those 10 days, he should have seen, see, uh, seen some signs. Yeah, he when he talked about the 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 car the car the the car key shit, I'm like, well, now you kind of hold yourself because now it's like, well, if you knew that it was she was off and you still fucking her, then it's like, like we know what you're doing, bro. <laughs> like we know what you're doing, bro. We we know what you're doing, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, let's let's be real. Like, you know what I'm saying? Technically, that means he he was cheating. Technically, that means he was cheating. Unfaithful man. Not gonna lie. If I was Starlight, get him out of here. 
get him out of here, bruh. But to be fair, the, the, the bitch, the hoe proposed. That was the crazy part. I don't know if I'm a hero. I don't know who the f I am. So Annie and A-Train. <laughs> I don't know who the f I am. He is anymore. And this crisis is being depicted by her being unable to use her powers, like Peter Parker in Spider-Man 2. And then she has to face her identity crisis literally after the shapeshifter soup steals her identity. I don't know if I'm a hero. I don't know who the f I am. So Annie Also, we gotta leave Homegirl alone because niggas be talking about her Botox. I'm like, bruh, does does the facial like come on bro, does the does the facial shit really matter, bro? Like I get it. She look way different from from season one and two to like three and four, like or especially season four. But it's like, come on, bro. She's you know what I'm saying? Like, she could do whatever she wants to her own body. It wasn't even that crazy. Like she just got a little Botox that looks a little skinnier, bro. Like, come on, bro. Niggas was on dick, bro. For no reason. Heroic soups. And in between all of the really not Niggas always so worried about other people's like all the diabolical stuff in the boys. <laughs> this is the main point of this show social and political commentary and all the diabolical <laughs> stuff. <laughs> this was funny as hell. This was funny as <laughs> this threw me off, bro. I was like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> no, homegirl, homegirl saying like, I'll be your mommy now. Like, nigga, what? Like, what? What is we doing, bro? <laughs> Why does this man always find a way to drink breast milk, bro? Damn it! For the boys, this is the main point of this show. What does it mean to be a Ho was out here squeezing her titty, bro. Homelander is not enough. Or why not? Because Homelander represents an idea. It's something really abstract that has no real ideology. It's just a bunch of pandering that simply... Yeah, just like Superman. ...extreme fanatics on the far right and the bad soups. And then they want to replace you with some godless, non-binary socialists like them. But this idea has power, even if it's a bunch of nonsense. Even if Homelander himself doesn't believe in the crap that he is selling. He What's don't. What's important is that they believe in him. So killing Homelander just like just Trump. him into a martyr. Got y'all believing shit that he, that he don't even believe himself. Him. Well, you're American, okay? Okay. What kind of American are you? What? In Gen V, we saw that many younger soups are fully committed to Homelander, and they echo a lot of what he says. Because they're trying to limit us. Take away our power. The Homelander is right. So the only way to kill an idea this is, is America. to give people a better idea. And this is why it's so important that in season five, Annie needs to become Starlight again, but not before reinventing what her superhero identity means. Annie, A-Train, and the other good soups need to figure out what it actually I'm, means. I'm actually interested in what's going to happen to Ryan, though. Corrupt world. To find a way to become symbols of Harry Ryan is Ryan's very interesting. Like, his character is interesting. Because I don't know I don't know whether he's going to be bad or good. will help Firecracker find redemption and turn on Homelander. Now, okay, I ain't going to lie. Firecracker bad. I don't care what anybody says, bro. I know, I know, milkman allegations, whatever, bro. Like, firecracker farm, bro. I don't care, bro. I don't give a fuck, bro. I could care less, bro. I could care less. Hot firecracker can be my firecracker. You see, he has heart, but he is also a Homelander's son. I mean, I don't know. It's just, he be teeter tottering. And I know he's, because he's a child. That's the point. But I'm like, I don't know. Like, w like, what if he just says fuck both of y'all niggas and he's just gonna do his own shit? Cause he's not really like, I, like, like he's not really fond of his of Homelander, but he's also like I'm starting to see like he's not really fond of like a butcher and them idea either. Especially like at the end where he was like kind of like get out my way and I want to leave now and then fucking just like pushed oh home girl and cracked her fucking skull, bro. Like. He's a loose cannon. I'm going to be honest. He's a loose cannon. I'm excited to see what they're going to do with him. This is next level milk, Nick. I don't care, bro. Firecracker fire, bro. Un no pun intended, bro. Firecracker fine and fire as hell. Do not care, bro. I don't know what, I don't know what that suit, that suit be having me acting different i ain't gonna lie i can't stand her she is a terrible and rotten person but the last few episodes i let her say i let her say racial slurs to me any day 
firecrackers possibly she bad. She seems to realize the evil nature of Homelander and Vought and how she's being used to sell I understand Stormfront. Firecracker See now that's a that's crazy. Healthy drugs so she could feed Homelander bread. <laughs> Cracker had to take a bunch of unhealthy drugs so she could feed Homeland. This was wild. This was wild. <laughs> Grown ass man out here looking like a child, man. This was wild. Hell nah. I this is uncomfortable as fuck. This was so wild. I'm like, dude, what are you? What is going on here, bro? Why is this? Why is this nigga doing this? Why did he do this? And her breast milk. But when that made her seriously sick, he treated her like garbage. Well, you're coughing all over me. It's disgusting. Go further now. Scoot. Further. Proving to her that he only sees her as a tool, someone to be used. And when Firecracker witnesses the horror of Homelander's regime, Annie will convince her to join them and betray Homelander. And who knows, Firecracker w. could be the one to kill Homelander. How crazy would it be if she injects herself with the virus and then infects him by feeding him some of Mother's He milk? also saw That's her disgusting. as milk. Milky Trojan horse, baby. This tastes like the cow got into an onion patch. Speaking of redemption, now that Ashley took V, she might join the good guys. She oh yeah, I forgot she took V too. Before, and last season, she helped cover up Maeve's survival. So deep down, Ashley might not be a bad person. <laughs> not, nah, I don't, I don't believe that. Cause she, she literally wiped her coochie juice on all over that shit. That's villainous acts right there, in my opinion. Are you serious? But after what she and Tech Knight did to poor Huey and some other bad stuff that she's been up to, the V might only bring out the worst in her. Now, speaking of inspiration and hope, Huey Ashley was also leader, mean to Ashley. Powers, he stepped up at the ending of season four, convincing yeah, Newman to turn on Homelander. And then he inspires the boys to be better than just a bunch of killers. What's insane is that our solution to every problem is murder. Is murder. Violence isn't brave. And this will be a really fitting ending for Huey. He started out by losing Robin to a soup. He joined a soup killing task force. And for a time, he even got corrupted by Butcher's crusade. But unlike Butcher, Huey was able to see the good in the soups. W, w Huey, bro. He her the hope to fight against Homelander. He forgave A-Train and gave him the chance to prove himself as w, a W Huey, hero. man. And by the end of the show, Huey can work with the good soups to inspire them with his hope and the conviction to be better people. Mm. I believe there's a hero in all of us that keeps us honest, gives us strength, makes us noble. And maybe he could even help Butcher overcome the monster inside of him. But there is still the very real monster at the end of this story to deal with, and that's Homeland. This is just my guess. I think Huey's going to die. I know somebody's going to die. I don't know. I, I have like three death flags or four death flags. Either MM, I, I have a suspicion that he's going to die. Huey. Butcher's like damn near 90%. Like, I, I, I am for certain Butcher's going to die season five. And Frenchie. I don't know why those four, but I have a feeling that those four, is going, those four are most likely going to die next season. Butcher for sure is dying. But I also have a suspicion that either M.M. or Frenchie are going to die. And Huey's also another possibility. Any of the boys? I don't know, because Kimiko, I, I don't see Kimiko dying. Like, I mean, to be fair, she literally can't die. Um, I don't see her dying. I don't see Starlight dying at all. I feel like the reason why, so I think Frenchie's going to die because Frenchie wants to die because what he did to, oh, oh like, he feels so bad about what he did to, like, all those families and shit. Um. My thing is, like, I'm not 100% solid on that because I feel like he was starting to recover towards the end with uh, Kimiko, especially when they announced their love to each other. So it was like, he might not want to die, but I feel like, you know, obviously they like to do that when, when a redeeming character has, like, redeeming qualities. They like to kill off characters like that. So I think, like, that's, that's there. And I feel like that's the same for MM because I feel like MM might die because he was supposed to leave with his family. And this will be the last time he ever sees his family. And I don't think that they're going to let him go back to his family safe. I think he, it's going to, I think it's going to be like an allegory for him just to die. 
and never be able to protect his family. I, Cause I think that's always been his one is that's his one thing that he's always on his mind. And I feel like that's the one thing that they're not going to let him get away. Like, you know, be able to accomplish. Only reason why I feel like they will kill Huey is just a simple fact of like, they'll kill the main character off. So I really have nothing else to base that off of other than they just might kill him. Cause he's the main character. Maybe have starlight kill him by accident or, or Butcher might kill him by accident or some shit like that. Like, that's the only reason why I will see that one. Because it's like, you know, he's the main character. Then it's like, you know, they're going to have to, like, they might just kill him off. Because it's like, why not? Um, I don't see Homelander killing him, though. Because that would make no sense. Uh, but it would either probably be either Butcher or maybe Starlight. Those are the only two that I could see. In a weird twist, I can see his mom killing him, but I don't think they're going to go down that route. But I can see his mom killing him or his mom dying. If his mom dies, then that would be crazy. That man crashing out, bruh. For sure, for sure. <laughs> Season 5 must end with Homelander having a complete meltdown, and then he starts lasering people. I don't, think, ho I don't think they're going to kill so Homelander off, though. Homelander and how the country will look under his control. In the post credit scene, Homelander finds Soldier Boy. Yeah, I don't get this. He's still alive. So you've been injured in a recent I don't get this. I didn't get this. I didn't get this. Like this right here. Here's what Nigga, get out of my screen. In case you forgot. I didn't get this. Oh, wait. Here we go. After the Vought Tower fight in Season 3, Soldier Boy was presumed to be dead. But okay. the CIA put him on ice in we knew that facility. And since the CIA basically answers to Homelander now, they tell him about his dad. So what's Homelander going to do with Soldier Boy in Season 5? Well, he tried to kill Homelander, his son. But Homelander will obviously wake him up. No matter what he tells himself, he is still starved for attention and approval. He needs to be loved. Because he believes that in a family, fathers and sons must love each other unconditionally. Why am I not good enough for you? <laughs> Although the last thing Soldier Boy told him was... You're a f***ing disappointment. It's really hard to decipher the expression on Homelander's face in the last shot of the season. Is he mad and wants revenge for what Soldier Boy did to You're him? You're a fucking or disappointment. Or will he free him and once again seek his approval? And will it basically be like, look, Dad, I'm in charge of the country, so you must be proud of me now. We can rule together. Homelander will However, probably lose all his attention and slash two. support, which forget, is something he, he always wanted. Yeah, I can see that happening. No godless dickless commie. I'm red-blooded. I can see that. Commie red. Red, white, and blue red. I fart the Star Spangled Banner. Although that but I, I can see that, but at the same time, I don't think it's going to affect him because, like, the first time that happened, and niggas was like, oh, yeah. We support, like, that when he, 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 gained, he gained that support by almost losing it because he was fucking, you know, being racist, I guess. Like, you know what I mean? So, like, I feel like the only way he's going to lose support is if if he like kills somebody on their side of things or some shit or like he does something that nobody can forgive him. But even then I'm like, I don't think that's going to matter. I think at most he's just going to crash out at the end. If I'm going to be honest, Lie was but I don't see him going. I don't see him Homelander dying though. In charge of Vought, I would assume that it was his idea. So Sage would want to use this narrative. Kate from Gen V can control people's minds and Sage will have her brainwash soldier boy and unleash him on Homelander's mm. naysayers. In fact, this mind controlled soldier boy will be used like a terrorist. They will claim that he was brainwashed by the deep state starlighters to attack and kill soups. And then Homelander will swoop in and stop soldier boy and thus prove that he is the real hero. I can see that. But you just know that all of Sage's perfect plans will fail. Right, I thought she was like super smart. Well, she is, but she's also dealing with Homelander and it's only a matter of time till he gets tired of being told what to do and we have a theory about that if homelander wasn't well him then he could use his strength to force the entire world into submission but he is a petulant man child and a psychopath so he cannot follow a plan that's dictated by someone else even if the plan belongs to sage the smartest person alive who put him on the throne in fact especially because it's sage because she made him feel small and weak and for his entire life he is okay but wouldn't he, wouldn't she see that coming she saw everything else coming, so you don't think... Unless if that's a part of her plan to get killed by Homelander. But then, what, did it, what does that benefit then? I don't, I wouldn't, I don't understand that. Because what would that... What, how would that benefit her in her plans? Because, yeah, Homelander, Homelander's like... He's a wild card, but, like, she literally saw all this happening. How is this going to be any different if she, she already know, going to know that this nigga's, like, possi possibly going to kill her? 
He probably honestly he probably would have killed her multiple times if it wasn't for the fact that she like came in clutch. Who knows? I don't know. He has been that man is so unpredictable. By others, first those scientists and Vought, then by Vogelbaum, still will Edgar Newman and many others. Every time he gets rid of or kills one of these authority figures, he is quickly reminded of how weak he really is when someone else comes along. But now Homelander is the big man in charge, and he's still being used by others, by Sage and the wealthy elite and the corrupt politician. <laughs> Once more, he's made to feel weak, dumb, and ridiculed. Save the boogeyman shit for the idiots watching VNN. How do you propose to handle the Justice Department? People like Homelander who suffered some- Nah, that's- Talking to Homelander like that, he can literally kill you at any mo moment, and she just does not care. She, 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 didn't, she just said that full confidence. This man Homelander actually is a pussy. God damn. I'm just kidding, Homelander. You're not pussy. Don't kill me. Such intense childhood trauma can never move on. Like when Ryan leaves, he just blows a gasket and reverts back to being a child. Homelander always seeks approval and attention. He was literally hey, 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 hey. created to crave attention and approval. He developed the protocol to carefully engineer that need so that you would be obedient. So now that he holds true power, he will feel like he can do whatever he wants. And the moment Sage and the other powerful people push him too far, he's going to simply laser them. Because I am the Homelander. Mm. And I really can do whatever the f I want. And the thing that's going to finally throw him over the edge is the flight video going public. In season one, Homelander... I don't think that's going to do nothing for him, though. Homelander no. messes up and he leaves all the passengers to die. In season two, Maeve has the deep recover a video that shows Homelander. I'm gonna be honest. I don't feel like that's gonna do nothing to him, though. Like, is he gonna be? Are people are are people really gonna be like mad at him for this? Like, I know people are gonna be mad at him, but like, I don't think that's. I don't think I I I never thought that this would be enough to like for him to be like, you know what I'm saying? Like for, for losing the support. I don't think this is enough. I don't think it's going to do anything. Abandoning the passengers. And she uses it to stop Homelander later. In season three, Starlight tries to do the same, but Homelander calls her bluff. I'll just wipe New York off the map for fun. And now- in No, that's crazy. Four, the flight video is brought up again. I'm gonna blow New York up. About it. In flight 37, Homelander killed every soul on board. It keeps coming up, even in Gen V. The Godolkin headmaster wanted to weaponize the soup virus because her family was on that plane and she blamed Homelander. He took down that plane. He killed your family? So Flight 37 is the show's Chekhov's gun. They wouldn't keep teasing it unless it goes public in season five. Okay. This proves that Homelander is a monster. This is the only way to shatter his image and turn even his followers against him. Homelander and Queen Maeve, oh my God, they're leaving us. Because not only did Homelander leave all those people to die, he threatened to laser them when they dared to beg for help. There is no coming back from this. Vought will try to spin it, and some true believers might still buy it. You know, fake news, deep fakes, all that. I won't change my mind on anything, regardless of the facts that are set out before me. I'm dug in, and I'll never change. But what I see happening mm. is that the alliance of good guys will work with the government and even Vought. Here we can see Stan Edgar return and use all the pull he's got. Debbie left John to take back control. Garcia, whatever then, that man is name finally is. Finally uses the propaganda machine for some good and destroys Homelander and the remaining. John Carlo suits. Despacito. The boys and Edgar could work with the saner parts of the government to wrestle control of Homelander's regime and the martial law and use the military to start taking Gustavo down these suits. But when the video goes public right. and Homelander loses all of his support, he is going to have the biggest meltdown ever and start lasering everyone just like he did in that dream in season two. But this time for real. Oh and no. He will use the soups under his control to storm the White House, just like what happens in the boys' comics. We will put out the call to every Vought hero to surround the Capitol, the White House, and the Pentagon. And then even the true believers will see what a monster Homelander really is. This will lead to the final showdown between the boys and the seven. I kind of want him to crash out though. This plan will be Ryan. You must face Darth Vader again. I can't kill my own father. Ryan What's up, will fishy? finally see with his own eyes that his father is a true evil monster. And then Homelander will be truly alone. But then I'll have nothing to lose. So, I, see, that line right there is crazy, though. So because if he does lose Ryan. He might kill Ryan. I don't think Ryan can beat Homelander. I don't think Ryan can beat Homelander. I'm just going to be honest. I think he's the I think he's the I think he's the closest to being him. I, I think like 
he's the closest to be able to be him, but I don't think he's going to be able to be him. And if he di- if Ryan dies, then we actually might be fucked. Because I'm going to be honest, I don't think Butcher's going to be able to kill uh, Homelander. Because they teased him trying to kill Homelander so many times. It's like at this point, like, I don't think, like, they, even with this super compound V, tip V bug monster thing in his, in his system, I don't think that's going to be enough to be able to kill Homelander. Because we haven't even seen how strong Homelander really is. Because he's never really had to go, go all the way out on anybody. So it's like, I don't know. Either they're going to jump Homelander or Ryan's going to try to kill him and maybe die in the process. And then once that nigga happens, once that happens, that nigga is just crashing out. He's going to kill everybody. I can see that happening. He about to t- he about to kill everybody. Ryan will stop Homelander? Well, Ryan is still a good kid, and he stood up for himself in Episode 7. But he in the got fifth it. episode, we see know. a clear parallel between Homelander and his son when he used his power to punish Bork. Now, sure, that creep deserved to get slapped around. But with yeah. every slap, it stopped being about standing up for the woman who was sexually assaulted and more about Ryan enjoying the pain and punishment yep. that Bork was receiving. She was and whooping the fuck out this man. Homelander keeps describing humans. They're only human, Ryan. Toys. And then, in the last episode, he Bam! killed the race. You're locking me in a cage unless I agree to be your weapon. Put that Just man on like the field. To my dad. But I would like to believe that in the end, Ryan will help the boys against Homelander after witnessing what his father has done. And we believe that Ryan will also be the key to saving Butcher from Kessler. I made a promise. And in the end, Ryan will become the hero that his father never could have been. But the show needs to end with Butcher killing Homelander. And this would it be does. the most satisfying ending for the boys. You're all f***ing welcome. I'm gonna be honest. I would love to... That would be the optimal ending, but I personally think I would want Butcher to get killed by Homelander. I think that would throw so many people off because it would be like, damn, we finally, Butcher will finally be able to get his revenge and then Homelander just come out of nowhere and kill this man, Butcher, just like, you know what I'm saying? And get away with it. Niggas will be pressed. Niggas, that, niggas will be angry. I can see it, bruh. I could see it. I would enjoy that ending, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. Kill off a good character like this? Nah, bruh. Too perfect. So what did you guys think about... Or if Homelander kills Huey... That would be that would be a fire little four ending. And that ending. What do you think is going to happen in season five? Let us know down in the comments. And big shout out to the writer and editor of this video, Pavel T. You can find mm. his links below. And if it's your first time here, be sure to subscribe and smash that bell for alerts. W for screen crush. Hey, Ryan. W screen crush, bruh. W screen crush, bruh. I'm excited. I'm a, I'm excited for season five. I'm excited for season five. I'm not gonna lie. I'm excited for season five. I really don't know what like. There's so many possibilities. Now, one thing I will say, I hope for a fact that it ain't going to be a movie. I hope it's not a movie. I don't think a movie's long enough to really, like, to really, like, uh, to get, like, all of the, like, to get everything down for it, bruh. To get everything down. I don't think that would be possible. Wait, they have a video explaining Butcher's Anatomy. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. A message from Homelander. At Fiverr, we offer 3D rendering. This is the last one before I get out of here. But you, you probably already Let's know explore a guy. Butcher's who body. Knows a guy who... Right. Hello, everyone. This is Richard, your host with another marvelous video. Why does it sound like this? Diabolical anti-superhero drama, The Boys, has just completed season four. Why does he and sound like this? And if there's one character who's been the most exciting and unpredictable across the four seasons of the show, Hello. it has it's to be your Billy boy, Butcher. Richard. He's the leader of the titular anti-soup group called The Hello, Boys, Bryce. and he's known for his quick thinking, rough behavior, and sick sense of humor. Of course, he doesn't shy away from violence, and things get it's even more interesting after he injects himself with temporary V and compound V to induce certain superpowers. Hello. In, him. in this video, we'll delve Bunch into a deep analysis of Butcher's unique physiology and answer all the questions that you might have regarding the. This is actually Butcher character. voicing this. We, yeah, because uh, all Australians sound the same. We have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you. He said, "Let me us. make up my own Thank channel you. to explain Thank my anatomy in the show." 
Hello, boys. What is Butcher's superpower, and where does he rank among the soups? Like a well-made suspense thriller, the show held back on the true extent of Butcher's superpowers until the very last episode of the season. Finally, we get to see what really killed Ezekiel earlier in the show. When Ezekiel nearly strangled Butcher to death, he suddenly exploded and the room was filled with his blood and guts as Butcher lay there, unconscious. Clearly, Butcher had something to do with it, but he didn't know what, and neither did we. The season finale reveals that Butcher has the ability to unleash numerous tentacles from his body. These bluish, tumorous tentacles are extremely Damn. powerful and have the ability to snap a soup in half. We see them emerging from a hole in his chest, and when the work is done, they retract back without a trace of what just happened. They're probably controlled by Butcher's alter ego, Joe Kessler, which now seems to have taken over completely. You can consider Joe this to Kessler. be some kind of a sentient tumor which probably got the sentience after he administered himself with Compound V. Aside from the tentacles, Butcher also seems to have enhanced strength and agility, which is briefly visible from the way he brushes Huey aside like a fly. After this revelation, well, it's safe to say that Butcher ranks right up there among the most powerful soups in the boys' universe. In the boys' Still universe. Still be a match for someone like Homelander or Soldier Boy, but other top-tier soups like Black Noir, Deep, and all the others that we've seen on the show so far will find it difficult to overpower him in a fight. God damn. What superpowers did Butcher acquire by virtue of Temp V? Does he still possess those abilities? When Butcher injected himself with regular doses of Temp V, despite knowing the health hazards associated with the largely untested chemical, he gained certain superpowers that helped him in some key soup encounters. The Temp V gave him heat vision, where he generated a beam of golden rays from his Crazy. eye. These were powerful enough to knock Homelander to the ground and even block the latter's heat vision. He also acquired superhuman strength and dual. If y'all get. Okay, real question. If y'all had, like. What powers would y'all want to get from, like. If you took, a, like, a dose of Temp V? What kind of powers would y'all want. What y'all would, like. Like, want. Want to have? Ability. We've seen him crush a pistol like a cookie and engage Homelander in a fist fight. He could sustain because I don't even know what powers like I would was want. nothing. And Butcher with Temp V was a sight to behold. However, he doesn't seem to possess some you of these have superpowers, fish powers like the, the heat vision, any longer. Probably because it's specifically lied. associated with Temp. I hope. I hope that. I hope if you take Temp V, that you get the truth serum instead, so that way you can never tell a lie ever again. V, which only worked for 24 hours. Also, let's not forget that even as a human, Butcher is way more skilled than a regular human as a fighter. He served in the Royal Marines just, and Special you have, you Forces. Just have, you just have, the you have no ability to, to lie ever. Human abilities you have to tell the truth all the time. Without any superpowers. Is it you think you ripped Ezekiel into fun-sized little chunks? I'm the one that gave you the juice. Who is Joe Kessler? I'm the one that gave you the juice. Superpowers. It might be slightly confusing to see Joe Kessler Ayo, walking around in like person, men? but as he himself claims every time he's confronted by Butcher, he Crazy. simply doesn't exist. It's just a projection of Butcher's subconscious. We can even say that the entire Joe Kessler personality is Butcher's dark side, comprising of his ruthless goal of soup elimination without any compassion. Why'd you this say yes so quickly? This is also the side of Butcher that's in control of his superpower. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but Butcher I'm just, starts healing you from know? a nearly dead position. It's back in I'm action a little too the moment there, he gives buddy. in to his dark side. Look Previously, too quick he there, also mate. had several hallucinations featuring his dead wife, which usually conveyed her concerns and elaborated on the good nature of Butcher. Ever since Butcher surrendered to Joe Kessler's manipulations, he hasn't seen his dead wife, and we can expect him to go completely nuts over his soup genocide plans. On the contrary, if he genocide. has visions of his wife yet again and gives in to his humane side, we might see him losing out on the tentacle privileges, which is highly unlikely to happen, according to us. Is it instinct for him? Crazy. Oh my god! Our butcher's tentacles are combined effect of Temp V and Compound V, exploring the rabbit reference earlier in the series. If you think butcher's superpowers are truly bizarre, well, I miss the old AI. However, we did get a brief glimpse of something similar when Butcher right. and the boys raided the secret hideout of Stan Edgar. Samir was experimenting on the soup-killing virus and turned this into a facility, where various other experiments were also conducted. While exploring one of the laboratories, Butcher found- This episode was wild because I'm like, they gave Compound V to these animals and these fucking sheep literally became like flying, like flying, like, disc of just death like bro who whose idea was to give sheep compound v 
found a rabbit that was being administered temp V in its cage. He probably felt sorry for the poor animal and released it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Super animals the will same be. Rabbit in a near death position after a it'll while. be over. On closer inspection. It'll be over for us. Strange tentacles emerging out of the rabbit's body, and he quickly squashed them to death with his beak. Oh! This was a clear hint about. Oh! 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 In a near death position after oh! a while. Closer inspection, Butcher found strange tentacles emerging out of the rabbit's body, and he quickly squashed them to death with his boots. This was a clear hint about what was about to come for Butcher. I didn't even realize that! I didn't even realize that! Cause I'm like, bro, why they focus on this bunny so fucking much? Like, why does this bunny get so much screen time? Damn, I didn't even realize that. Damn, wait, that just threw me off, bro. Butcher, the final episode has confirmed our guesses, since Butcher has a similar network of tentacles. Son don't of a hide bitch. From them anymore. What do we do? Are we not men? Tentacles emerging from his body, we can consider them to be a result of all the temp V abuse that Butcher underwent earlier. However, Butcher doesn't die like the rabbit, it yet? probably because of the Have you realized it yet, Mr. Krabs? Him Looking ass. Thus, we believe that Shut Butcher's up. current condition is a combined result of both temp V and compound V, God. and the latter ensures Niggas that even he doesn't know it die from the effects of temp V. Niggas even know it either. Stop. Act like me. Like, stop, bro. He didn't know it either, bro. Can Butcher's tentacles harm Homelander? How powerful are these tentacles? We he guessed about either. this a long time ago, and finally, in the season finale, Butcher's powerful tentacles yeah, wanker. are on full display. We also yeah, get bloody a sense wanker. of its extreme powers as it engages a room full of people, including soups like Starlight, Kimiko, Victoria Newman, and a daughter, Zoe Newman. When he comes into the room, we can immediately sense that Can I get Kimiko's number, bro? Off about him. And the true horrors are Anybody got Kimiko's number, bro? Aside, Respectfully. For Victoria Newman. IG something. The guards are pushed aside as the tentacles are far too many in number. That's a fine Zoe woman Newman right there. I will tell you that. With one swift Beautiful. Blow from one of the tentacles. The Amazing. most shocking moment comes when Victoria Newman is snapped in two parts, and she seems absolutely helpless in front of the tentacles' powers. Previously in this season, we've seen the boys try Newman's their best number? to kill her. But nothing from bullets to acid worked on her. She's been established she's, as she's one of the most powerful too. soups out there. And even in the season finale, we see her withstanding a brief laser blast from Homelander. This means that the tentacles are extremely powerful and can take down soups of her she magnitude fine as hell too. I Going by this logic, we assume that Deep and Black Noir will be vulnerable in front of Butcher, and Firecracker and Sister Sage wouldn't even stand a chance. However, that's crazy. That's crazy, man. Firecracker, she got it. What is Firecracker's power? But Homeland is a whole different deal, and the same rules don't apply and to Sage. him. He could withstand an attack from Soldier Boy. Sage and doesn't he's want you back. certainly more powerful than Butcher can ever become. The tentacles will be nothing than a minor hindrance for him. Sage doesn't want his you way out of the duel or simply tear the tentacles apart with his brute strength. Leave that also black woman alone. He's more don't you don't? Because don't you don't? Did you say you didn't like black women with wigs? Butcher still needs the soup killing virus, and with Victoria Newman gone, he surely say that? relies on the virus to get rid of someone as powerful as Homelander. Leave In short, the, the sisters fifth and final alone. Final season is going to end on Nigga. expected lines with a decisive battle between Billy Butcher and Homelander, and wouldn't that be I'm a mouthwatering contest worth waiting for? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why was Butcher nearly dying throughout season four? Butcher's character arc but you did say that, though. a complete 180 degree turn. And there's physical proof, Rotten physical and evidence. Season there. four, we've just seen him in a near dead health crisis. After the overuse of Temp V, Billy Butcher had a massive cancerous brain tumor, and just it saying. left him with only a few months to live. Even Homelander could I'm see the sorry. deadly nature of this tumor using his X ray vision, and he knew that Butcher's days were numbered. Temp V was never properly experimented, and neither was the use of this drug monitored. It was simply a desperate So you're telling me he confused Temp V and Compound V together, and, and now he's healthy. To the idea of being just as powerful as them. Queen Mae first handed him three vials of Temp V for a particular Debbie Queen mission, Maeve. but he later sought out more samples, and he can continued even though Debbie Queen Maeve W lesbian Starlight told him that more than three to five doses of temp V are fatal for humans well it led to the inevitable he could have died had not been for compound V in his system that kept him rejuvenated however he did experience several painful bouts that often left him unconscious coughing vigorously to the point of losing his breath does Butcher have regenerative abilities? How does he survive cancer? Almost every soup with compound V in their system has some degree of healing powers. Really? Butcher seems to oh, have that a significant true. regenerative abilities. So Starlight. Evident from his action-packed sequence in the season finale. Just a while ago, he can be seen lying on a bed with a pale and sick look okay. on Okay. 
crazy question. If the shapeshifter come into your house and wanted to do something strange to you, would you would you let it do it to you? That's all I'm gonna ask, bro. On his face, he can barely speak, and it seems like he only. And my thing is also like, how the shapeshifter going to shape? get everything perfect like even the insides does the shape shift the shape shifter like even get the insides correct too a few more hours to live however it all changes after no, he agrees to joe stop. kessler's proposition Bro. influenced by ryan's what that's a real killing mallory that's a legit question eyes. the moment he gives in to the demands of his sentient tumor that's a legit question almost miraculously he looks fresh and rejuvenated and surely it's the remarkable healing ability so y'all telling me if shapeshifter come into your crib as a, as one of your crushes, and it's the exact version of your crush, you're telling me you're not going to engage? Y'all lying your ass off. That's done the trick. You're lying, bro. It's better outside. I, no, I'm not. Lies. Fridge tip drawers. Lies. Keep food cold and dry. Because how would you know if it's real or fake? How would you not know if it's the real one or the fake one? How would you know? Butcher turned into a permanent soup. There are no direct answers to this question in the narrative so far. But it's safe you to freaky. assume that Butcher isn't losing right, his superpowers bro. anytime soon. Firstly, Niggas let's consider lying, when was the last time he injected himself with Compound V or Temp V. It's been quite some time. Just the effects lying, have been long-lasting enough to turn them permanent. Throughout Season 4, it's been just hinted be lying, that Butcher bro. possessed certain powers that he didn't fully understand and know about. He also had All I'm saying, if the shapeshifter come into my room, and it was SZA, and she started apologizing about our relationship, and then, you know what I'm saying, I accept her apology, and she want to do something strange for a little bit, I'm going to engage, that's all I'm going to say. Had little control over this superpower, until the season finale, when Nick, he seems to have, have given in completely to his dark side. The comparisons to a Venom-like entity are quite yeah, natural, I have because a wife only when Butcher goes by his plans, the insane abilities of the tentacles inside him are brought to the fore whenever required. Why am I too old to talk about shapeshifting? That's crazy. In the next season, I didn't know there was an age limit on talking about shapeshifting. This is wild. Can compound V's effect this is wild. Ashley's is it context with it's the show? It's a nail-biting moment for the ex vort CEO, Ashley, when Deep suggests that he should be on the list of people in the office who know too much about the soups and needs to be neutralized. After she overhears Homelander agreeing to the proposition, she immediately runs to, to his chambers and seeks out the hidden the stash shape. of compound V. In desperation of the situation, it's, she injects herself. It's, liter it's literally a whatism. I'm sorry. That I'm just trying to pose a question. It's just a whatism. What else do you want from me? Jesus. With the miraculous Jeez. chemical. And we see her in excruciating pain for the That's time being. That's not a question. However, it literally, I literally posed it as a question. On normal humans. From that Huey's is a fantasy. Father's painful experience to I literally said, what if? That is a posing, that's posing it as a question. How was that a fantasy? All I said is if... If the shape shifter came into your crib as your crush and you didn't know that it was the shape shifter, all I said is what you doing with it. That's all I asked, bro. Humans agonizing Fuck. pain. They all suffered in the initial moments. It seems like a regular human injected with compound V develops have permanent no fun, superpowers. Bro. And Ashley might also be heading in the same direction. The only difference between her and Butcher's condition is that Butcher used Temp V before, and she didn't. If we're not too wrong with our predictions, expect Ashley to develop a few unique superpowers of her own. Mm. And she might just play a key role in the battle that's heating up at the moment. She might become Berniac. You took V. It will work on you too. Is Butcher invulnerable? Can he be killed by the soup killing virus? Yes. Now that Butcher's retrieved the soup killing virus from Frenchie, we can't help but wonder. Wait, how what if Butcher it is kills for himself though? This virus around at all times, like Frenchie says, the virus is supposed to faintly affect Butcher because he has Compound V in his system, and from the effect of the virus on Kimiko in the previous episode, we can only imagine the agonizing pain that it'll mm. put Butcher through. It might even be poetic justice if Butcher manages to kill Homelander in the next season and dies from this virus. 
maybe even willingly, because he has Damn. nothing to live for anymore. That's true. We believe that you'll never get a perfect happy ending in a show like The Boys. Yep. And Butcher and Homelander are in all probability going to be the tragic casualties of the fierce battle between the soups and the boys. So in short, Butcher is invulnerable when you consider normal... Is it crazy that I don't want Homelander to die? Up against him. But he's not immortal by any means. As much as someone... Am I racist for that, to say that I don't want Homelander to die? At this point, I don't want Homelander to die. I don't want him to die. I want him to live. Unlike Homelander can still kill him in a fight, he's also yes, likely to succumb to a deadly words. virus that attacks anyone with Compound V in their system. You're just saying words. What is Billy Butcher's personality like? Billy Butcher is the kind of man that you can find incorrigible. But in spite of all his Billy negative Butcher. behavioral traits, one can't help but I don't want Homelander to die, bro. His anti -soup mission following a great personal Hashtag tragedy, but he's rarely Homeland let his emotions lives get in the matter. way of the greater good, which he believes Hashtag is the elimination of soups. Home, he's home fearless lives and matter. not scared of death, which makes him a dangerous opponent Hashtag with absolutely nothing to lose. There's shape shift your life matter. Him, which he's probably inherited from his abusive father, and his emotionally unavailable side doesn't always make him the most pleasant person in the room. Shape fact, shifter come to my house, bro. Humor is quite rough in nature, and in season four, we've seen a sense of dilemma. Shape shifter come to my house, him bro. Caught up between his soup genocide plans and the plan to only kill Homelander. Yeah, now that he seems to have his mind made up, we're all set all to right, witness uh, the darkest version of Butcher in the now. upcoming season. Uh, what will happen if Butcher fathers a child at this point? The what? closest Butcher has been to experiencing fatherhood is when he guided Ryan and cared for him. That being said, how would he get a child? A child of his own. His wife passed away just when he had the chance of settling down with her one more time. It's a curious question that we have regarding the nature of a child if he fathers one in his current stage. As we've discussed before, he's now a permanent soup. He doesn't have a kid though. In his system should impact his child as well, especially if the child belongs to another soup as well. Yeah, you That's guessed be it right. We still remember Butcher's passionate affair with Queen Maeve. Oh! His physical intimacy might have just resulted. Oh! Wait! I forgot about that. Wait, that would. I ain't gonna lie. If Queen Maeve and Butcher, wait, it. What if Queen Maeve is pregnant? Because now that we know that she's alive, she left. If she gets pregnant, he didn't bust. He's cool. Oh, child. There's always, there's always the pre before the, before the bus. As long as there's some liquid there, but you know what I'm saying? There's always a possibility. There's always a possibility. And a child being born. Of course, she's been out of the picture for the entire season. With Soldier Boy reintroduced at the very end of the finale, we don't rule out seeing her as well in the next season. It's a bit too far stretched to assume that she's pregnant with Butcher's child. But wouldn't that be a dramatic spectacle? If Butcher go Nah, see, here's how I see, right? Butcher kills Homelander, or he tries to attempt to kill Homelander. He severely injures Homelander, right? And then Ryan comes out of nowhere and kills Homelander officially. We all get like a happy celebration, da da da, things that in the third. Then the last scene is Maeve rubbing her pregnant belly. And then a knock at the door. Nah, that would be. That would be a. That would be the hangers of cliffs. Goes on a merciless soup killing rampage, learning about a child. That would be a hangers of cliffs. His mind, especially if the child has traces of compound V in his system. Do let us know in the comments below about your thoughts on the all new Billy Butcher, and also tell us about what your predictions are regarding his fate in the show. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us. And if you like subscribe, content, don't to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one. Shout so, out MM, thanks, bro. Thanks, everyone. Nah. Nah. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need Maeve to be pregnant, bruh. Somebody make that woman pregnant. Somebody make that woman pregnant. I ain't even going to lie. I ain't even going to lie. All right. Um. 
I think that's it for today. I told you I was going to be a rather shorter stream. I'm going to save this to watch later. I, I would love to watch this video. We'll probably watch this another time. Um, 